Hi everyone, I'm in Israel. There's a lot to adjust to. I can't read anything, but it's mostly good. Like this morning I took a shower, but my water never got warm and I didn't have a towel, but it was rejuvenating. And my dorm room, wow, sparse, has opportunity for me to really express myself. Here's a brief uh, look into my dorm, if you will. See some walls, see me, see my bathroom, see my bed, see my closet, see my window. And yeah, I pretty much get the point. It's a room. My view is awesome though. There's a saying here that Jerusalem is the most beautiful city in the world, but Haifa is the most beautiful city in Israel. Like most students my age that study abroad, I will now show you pictures of food. Today we stopped at a falafel shop in Wadi Nisnas, which is an Arabic neighborhood in Haifa. And then we saw this delicious looking candy store. And it's just amazing. As I mentioned before, there are a lot of things to get used to. One of them being that cats are like squirrels. And it's really windy here. So it's never a good day to wear a skirt. Also, I feel like I'm in kindergarten or first grade again because I'm learning the alphabet and I'm learning how to write and I just can't wait to learn how to read. So excited. Then I can like actually figure out what I'm buying. I don't even know what this is. Or I thought that this was going to be like strawberry or yogurt because it was pink. I was wrong. I was very wrong. Update on the shower situation. I got my water to get warm today, which was wonderful. Really enjoyed that. Oh, and a big thank you to Sarah Omar for being the very first person other than me to upload a video to the vlog. That was so much fun to watch. But the rest of you guys, start uploading stuff because it's fun and I can't wait to see your smiling faces on my computer. I'm really enjoying all of my classes. We have this two-week shopping period where we can take as many classes as we can and figure out which ones we do and which ones we don't like. More exciting news, I'm going to Tel Aviv this weekend, which should be great. And finally, I will leave you guys with this poem that we read in my contemporary Israeli literature class called The Place Where We Are Right by Yehuda Amichai, who is a famous Israeli poet.